All right. Uh, now that we have uh, the basic shape and have added the holes, uh, this video we're going to go over the slot. And there are basically three ways that I can model a slot or groove here uh, on this particular activity in this problem. So I'm going to start by creating a sketch. I'm going to select the top plane. Now, if you take a look at that um, slot, so their slot does have uh, width and height to that as well. And we can see that uh, the width from center point to center point is 65 millimeters and the height of this slot is 20. So, so I'm going to start here by uh, just creating a rectangular feature and I know that it's 20 millimeters uh, high so let's tab over we're gonna place this at 20 millimeters I don't necessarily know the actual uh, length of this so I can make some assumptions we see the 65 if you are aware of this is where you kind of have to really be familiar with geometry the actual width of this um, groove is going to be 85 uh, millimeters so I'm gonna go ahead and put 85 millimeters in we'll come back and talk about the reasons for that in a few minutes so there's my rectangle now uh, I can go with my fillet uh, here and we're going to use the fillet tool to now create some of these corner fillets. Now in this case, uh, we see that there's uh, two times the radius, and we have to think about, all right, what would the radius be of this? Well, as you look at both ends of the slot, uh, we see a, a semicircle on both ends, and we see that the diameter of that semicircle is 200 mil or 20 millimeters which means the radius here should be 10 millimeters so I'm gonna select that and I definitely want that there so and I want it here I want one here and I want one there so I've selected all four corners uh, here and I can click enter now so now I've actually gotten that slot so we're not dimension or we're not basically in the right position on this part so now we need to go back in and add some dimensional constraints here so um, as i look in the top view so i can see that from here to there is 50 millimeters and that is what we refer to as a basic dimension and then in the top view here from the center of this point to that edge is 60 60 millimeters so so now i have drawn the slot using the rectangle tool uh, adding fillets into it and dimensionally constraining that or basically putting it in the correct position and that is uh, one method to use this so let's go ahead and i'm going to hit the undo so so let's look at another method to create this slot now okay the other method, of course, is to more or less create two holes. Now, notice in this case, since we know that that dimension falls in the midpoint, so I can use these auto uh, constraints. So, and I can place a circle of 20 millimeters here, and I can come down, right click, repeat center. I can also, again, use the auto constraint here. Uh, right click 20 millimeters place that circle there so and now uh, dimensionally constrained so we know the distance from here to there is going to be 65 millimeters and we know that the distance from the center of that hole over to there uh, will be 60 millimeters so let's make sure that that places those in at this point i can come up and draw a line now uh, again we're going to make sure you got to pick the tangency point so i'm going to go from here to there right click repeat line and again now the bottom tangency points from here to there uh, to place those notice how the tangent constraint automatically came up on those and now i can trim out so we'll trim out that and that so that is the second way to create a slot by using 
the circle uh, feature, dimensionally constraining them, and then adding lines to it. So two ways. Let's uh, undo these, kind of come back now, and now let's go with the third and probably the best way to actually kind of do this. And if I come in here to my create tool, notice I do have a create slot. So, so let's take a look at the center to center slot. We'll go over all the other types of slots later, but for right now, we're just going to go to the center to center because that's the way the uh, tool has, or the print has been kind of spelled out to us. I can again kind of pick up on that auto uh, midpoint snap. So I'm going to left click there, move over to the right, uh, go ahead and set the dimension here of 65. So make sure that you're keeping it at the 180 degrees, uh, left click to place it. So, and then we can come up, notice here now, it expands this out. We know that that is 20 millimeters. Uh, left click to place that. The only thing left now is to dimensionally constrain this. So let's go into our dimension tool. Uh, again, from here to that edge uh, is 60 uh, millimeters. Hit enter. So and we have dimensionally constrained that. So finish the sketch. So and now we will just go ahead and do the extrusion down from this point. So again, pull it down. So this is going to be a cut rather than using the distance extent here. We're going to say we do want that to be cut through all. So click OK. So and uh, our model here uh, is finished as far as everything that we need to draw on it. So so now the purpose of this tutorial, of course, uh, was to show you three possible ways that you can use sketch geometry to create that slot. So go ahead now and uh, take care of yours and get yours modeled. Uh, just to double check, let's see what it looks like in uh, all the views. So here's my front view coming up to the top view. Let me rotate back around to the front, rotate around to the side, kind of see again and come back to the isometric. And I have modeled everything the way that I want to in this particular um, problem. Let's do a file save. So we're going to save this as P3-12 hyphen your first initial and your last name. Uh, and that completes the isometric uh, drawing for this.